Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Business Pig, and welcome to Home, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. I saw this on the PlayStation Store, and it looked really interesting, and it's in that pixelated RPG style, which I absolutely love, and it brought me back a lot to when I was playing The Boogeyman and uh, Mermaid Swamp and all those old games. Back in the day, it makes me sound old, but those were so fun to play when I was younger. But let's get right into it. Your game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete home in a single setting. Hmm. Well, I don't have an hour and a half to record, so I'm sorry, but I can't listen to that. Turn up the sound and turn off the lights. Oh, trust me, they are. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. Hello? There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Ah! A flashlight. That house. Where was I? Oh, no. There was a body. Lying on the floor. Who was it? Who is it? I didn't recognize his face. He was still kind of warm. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. Where'd that cat go? Over here? Oh, there's a door and stairs. Which way do I go? I'll choose the stairs. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg? I wondered. All I could recall was coming home and seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Seems like the owner of the house really knew the area. There's a door there. More stairs. What is this? A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes, you freed it. You let it go. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in a damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Uh, that seems very suspicious. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Of course you pushed the switch. The story wouldn't progress if you didn't. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a fairway click somewhere. Hmm. What could it be? I don't know what I did there. But I did something. Before I go downstairs, I want to go through this door and check. Because there was a wall in the other one. What was that noise? A black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Yes. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. Alright. So there seems to be a wall th at the end of each hall that we, that we go in through a door, so I'm going to go through this one real quick. Because I'm assuming it'll be the same in here. The desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I, I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes, of course. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looks like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Maybe because you worked there? Was the store your place of work? Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Uh, I think we're in a bit more of a predicament here than we thought. Oh man, I had to get out of there. That doesn't look like blood. Yeah, but blood's usually a bit of a different color, just just a little bit. 
If your blood looks like this, I'd recommend going to the hospital. As soon as possible. Now we can retreat downstairs and go down the stairs even further. This is a very... Oh! What was that? I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. Or maybe it was me trying to cover the murder I committed. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Treetops, you say? The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Can't you just move the furniture? I'm pretty... Pretty sure you could do that. You're, you're a stocky guy. You're pretty built. You can move the furniture away from the door. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. So this is the door that unlocked when I... Flip the switch behind the photo. Oh, does this lead even further down? The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell arose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yes, you did. Because, again, the story wouldn't have progressed if you didn't. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Footprints in the dirt. Looked like more than one kind. A lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. A work table, covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Unfortunately, yes, because this is a horror game, and I'm not going to make you a stupid character. I tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Probably because you're in a creepy house and you're covered in blood. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? More ladders. Should I go back up? I didn't realize there was going to be more. Let me go back up because I didn't go the one way. There's lots of noises in the background that I don't particularly like. Okay, so there is nothing this way. Alright, I already looked at this. Why did I take the gun? Because you need it. Alright. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible. Notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. H-A-I-V-E-Y-H-E-L-R-A-P-H-O-R-O. Hiaive Hilraphoro. None of it made any sense to me. Me neither. I couldn't make any sense of it. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Probably blood, by the looks of it. Let's check out this door over here. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this man's wife? Are you the man? Oh. 
Oh, I don't like that noise. Oh, they're bats. Okay, never mind. It's not a scary noise. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. So don't go down the ladder. I hear voices. I don't like that. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yeah, you would. Take it. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to ascend. Possibly, you never know. But there are more bones dug into the ground. This game seems sketchier and sketchier. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes, you did. No question about it. I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before starting to get worse. Oh no. What's going on down here? Anything fishy. Bunch of old newspapers. Wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave-in. Well, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm still going to go in. I don't care about no cave-in. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket, and it seemed a familiar weight there. Interesting. Considering you said earlier you don't like guns. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet and there was grass smeared within it. Ooh, another door. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? It's a door there. Kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Might as well take the knife. You'll have a gun, a knife, whole arsenal. I also didn't read that, but it's all right. We'll, we'll pretend like I did. It said, uh, I took the knife so I could have an arsenal. Whoa! Was that a gunshot? That's what it sounded like. I'll be right back. I have to sneeze. All right, I'm back. So there's even more to go through now. Seems like there's a lot to explore on this level. Oh, it just keeps going. Okay. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Eh, might as well. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Might as well turn all of them. Oh? That one wasn't pumping. Hmm. Interesting. So all of them pumped water except the last one. Wherever it's going to. And we have those these doors to go through. More pumps? Of course I turned it. This one isn't pumping water anymore either. Wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Then how do you know it's a regulator? Door was locked, there was a musty smell from inside. Oh. Wonder what that could be. Maybe another body? Exit. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Okay, I need to find a way to drain the water. So I'm guessing that's what all the pumps are for. Um. I can't remember if there was anything over here that I missed. Is there anything else in this room? I did not want to go back into those tunnels. It seemed better to press on. Okay. So... Don't need to worry about any of that. Let's just go to the pumps. Over here. Through all these rooms. And the ones that are pumping water, turn them off. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. So we want to shut off the flow for the ones that we did make flow, make the water flow through. 
Looks like I turned off the water flow in this valve. Okay. So the water flow's off, off, and it's off in the one in this next room, and then we have the valves um, in the door, the one door right here, because the other one's locked. So we turn this one off, right? Let me turn off the water. Okay, so this one's already turned off. Okay, so we don't want to... Oh, that's the locked one. Confused it for this next exit. Okay, so all of the ones... All of the pumps should be off now, so there shouldn't be water. Nope, there's still water flow. What does that mean? I don't know what else I could do here. Oh wait, I haven't been up here yet. Disgusting, it was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What I looked like, or what looks like an old videotape was sticking out, did I take the tape? Yes, of course take the tape. Wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with it in the tape, but I took it anyways. And that's it for up here, it looks like. Now I'm gonna keep digging through this mess. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, I wouldn't either. Completely understandable. But we do have to go back down here, and I don't know what else to do, because we can't go back out into the tunnel, because he, yeah, rather stay here. And we can only go this way, so we can only continue through these. And they exit, the water's still going. Door's locked, there was a musty smell. Yeah, so I don't I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Through the dust I could see handprints from previous zoos, probably from whoever worked in these sewers. I was just gonna say the same thing, I guess. Where else is there to go in here? Looks like I turned off the water flow in this valve. Alright. Well, there's only so much I can do. Four, three. Is there an order I'm supposed to do this in? Two. And is this one one? One, yeah. But I can't turn that off. So do I do four, three, two, one? But I don't think I can turn this one off. Uh, it looks like I turned off the water flow in this valve. Yeah, so turn it. But I could turn this water valve to shut off its water flow. Did I turn it? Yes. The valve was still active. Did I turn it again? Yeah. Oh! So I have to keep turning them. Okay. So that that one's cut off. I turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. Keep turning it. You can do it. Okay, so that one's stuck. Looks like I turned off the water flow in this valve. Okay, so water flows off in these and this one. And then it's already off in the one in the room. So now. I can go to the exit, and the water flow should hopefully be gone now. Because I did shut everything off. There. That worked. I knew it would. Very big brain of me. Looks like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm, there's a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Yes, of course I did. Pocketed the small key, but it was so odd shaped I had no idea what am I open. Um. Maybe the door upstairs, because that's still locked. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? Another ladder and then a door. Door is locked. I could see a faint light within. Can I not use the key on it? Can go up the ladder, though. Hmm, two different doors. We will go through the one on the wall first. Oh no, another body. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes, of course you did. I thought about the knife I had found with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. You're worrying about zombies when you're finding dead bodies everywhere. Clearly someone committed multiple mass murders here. 
There was a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near an exit, but I wondered, what did that key I found on the sewer worker do? And what was on the videotape I found? I don't know, what could it mean? Okay, before we continue further, because I have the key ring, and I have uh, the other key that I found. I want to go back up here and see if either of them work on the door super fast. Because this door over here is still locked, and I don't know if there's a certain point I won't be able to go back and use this. One of them seemed to fit. Okay, so one of the keys did fit in this door. Collection of stale liquor bottles covered the floor. The wall was littered with dozens of old faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, bodies had been found in ravines in the forest and in one case dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these same articles had also been pasted up back in those tunnels. A faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station. It was for two tickets. I didn't know what use. I didn't know what use it could be. Ha. Huh. Had to yawn in the middle of the sentence. I didn't know what use it could be, but I did keep the receipt. Or did I keep the receipt? Yes. Keep the receipt. Might as well. I immediately folded the soiled receipt and slipped it into my front pocket. Could probably use it later if I ever have to take that train. Oh my gosh, what was that? Why did that pipe bust? Why is that pipe busting all of a sudden? Ugh. I didn't like that noise. It was a bit too sudden for me. Uh, this is where I already went, right? Key ring to unlock the door. Oh, this was the locked door. Okay. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looks like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. Ooh. And there's a place I can watch it. There was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wondered what was on that VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? Sure did. The tape showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like... It looked like there could have been two men. I thought I was reading that wrong. It was just spelled wrong. Couldn't stand to watch that video again. Oh no. Well, we know that happened. Uh, I already went out here, right? Yes, so that's where the other body was found. That's where I got the key ring. just keep on going through. Would I need that gun or that knife before the end? Both weighed me down and aggravated my leg as I climbed that old ladder. The thought of that videotape still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those clippings away in that locked room? Suddenly, the awful smell of that sewer gave way. Huh. I really do need some sleep. I keep yawning in the middle of sentences. Sewer gave way to a pine-scented blast of fresh air. And I'm out! Look at that. There's a door this way. Is that just back into where I was, or... Or is this? I was relieved to be above ground again. I figured I should keep moving. Okay. So I came up from the ladder, obviously. I climbed a ladder to get up here. Why would I ask if the door is where I came out of? Oh, there's a ladder up there. A creepy arrow scribbled on that pillar. I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit, and I heaved open the rusty door. The wind was picking up a bit. The night air had become strangely chilly. I saw a security camera. So we're in a, at an establishment. The old train station. Okay, so I'm at the old train station. I was underneath it. 
The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffeting the decrepit structure. Really does look decrepit. Looks like no one's been here in a long time. An old map encased in glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked, and the notes I found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? Oh, I'm back outside. Okay, before I do this, and actually stick outside, I should probably explore the rest of the inside of this old decrepit train station. So there's another door over here, I do know that. And we'll see where this one leads. If it leads me outside again, or... What? An old ticket booth that looks fairly ruined. Inside the ticket window were sheets of paper, and wait... What were these? Train receipts? I thought the receipt I had picked up might match these, but of course not. The station had been closed for years. The ticket must have been for the newer station that opened up on the other side of town after this one was abandoned. However, I noticed a series of fresher looking papers, covered in tiny notes, scribbles, and diagrams. What could it mean? Oh, I earned an achievement for that. Escape route. All right, well, I guess the only way to go now is outside. Thankfully. Getting tired of being cooped up in these buildings. Oh, no. The old train was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal. As well as the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic, like some kind of outerwear. Inside the train shell, I could see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot there? The ground was well worn, though I couldn't really make anything out. I realized I was touching the gun I had found as I thought. Hmm. It was getting colder out there and I had to keep moving. Well, you see, the thing is, is there's nowhere to keep moving. It's, it's just that. Though there is one place I didn't check. We go through here, go back out of the train station, go back through the door with the chain link fence. Right over here. Didn't go this way past the door. This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I'd seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Oh no. Is it just going to be multiple paths? Multiple different choices? Am I just going to have to find the right way? There were some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Did I read it? Yes, of course you did. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was... Like how you know it's a dollar store notebook. That's very specific. Was page after worn page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, uh, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel? Her name was last on the list and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. What could it mean? I should probably be keeping track of the path that I take here. Because I definitely have not been. A few embers still burn within the fire pit. Who is camping here? Was it... Dot, dot, dot. One of the two folding camping chairs was knocked over and there was beer spilled everywhere. Where did the campers run off to in such a hurry? 
There was a cheap two-person dome tent through the screen. On the front, I could see two sleeping bags, backpacks, and a small cooler. So campers were scared off here. No, 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 no. Don't look. Don't look. Hello? A musty wooden plank propped up the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Might as well take a giant wooden plank. Why not? Can add it to the collection. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. You'll need it later. Trust me. Wait, did I see another thing I could do? The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. Uh-oh. I'll take it this way. Oh, and I'm back at the beginning. Huh. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean, and where were the campers who had abandoned their sight? Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? I guess we'll see when we actually get there. But that will have to wait until next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of Home because it seems like a pretty good game so far. And I love this art style. I, I've always loved this kind of art style of game. And honestly, it's, it's so fitting for it because it's telling a great story so far. It doesn't need these high quality graphics. I think it's perfect the way that it is. And I can't wait to see where the story leads. I will see all of you in the next video, and for now, bye.